Hi friends, welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm. I'm so glad that you're here today. I am going to make a couple of shelves today. One is going to be a bathroom shelf to hang towels on, and one is going to be a shelf hook at the entryway of my house. So, I am hoping to do this without any cost at all. I went through all of the lumber scraps that I have in my barn and I found everything that I needed. I have a one by five inch primered board here. This is going to be the middle part where the hooks hook onto. I found this great trim see the profile there. It's a little bit similar to what a crown molding would look like. I am going to put it on the top and then I found a little lintel piece. It's just a thin piece. You can see the profile there. I will stick that on the bottom and it's going to be awesome. Then I will hook the hooks right onto the main board. So let's get started. I'm going to start with my main board and I'm going to measure, make sure that it's the right, the right measurement and then cut. And now I'm going to do the same with my second two pieces. I'm actually cutting both trim pieces just a hair larger than my main board. And I'll share with you in just a minute why. These are the three shelves that I have decided to make. Again, I got all of this lumber from the barn, and so they're all different, and I just mixed up my ideas according to what trim I found. So, so I cut the trim pieces a bit longer than I did the main board. On one end, I'm going to make sure that it's nice and flush, and I will nail that on. And then I'll take it back to the saw and cut through all three pieces, making sure that that end is perfect as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my trim positioned exactly where I want it, and now I just attach it with my nail gun. Just trim off the excess at the end of the boards. And look at those edges, they're just perfect. Now I will caulk my seams and cover my nail holes with spackle and it will be ready to paint. And now I just fill my nail holes with spackle wipe away any excess and now I'll caulk my seams. And wipe away any excess. I let it dry and it's ready to paint. I have decided that this first shelf is going to be black. two shells white and I will do two coats of paint on them as well. My hook shelves have two coats of paint on them. They're all dry and now it is time for the hooks. I have decided that I am going to put my foot first hook at four inches in. Measure that and mark that on both ends. Now I'm going to measure the distance between the two 
and it is 29 inches. So I'm going to divide that by three because I will have three spaces. Then I go ahead and mark those spots. I have my measurements and now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my hooks. And I'm gonna put four hooks on this board. If you will be hanging this on your wall that can be removable at a later date, then you can go ahead and attach some D hooks to the back and just hang them from the hooks. I am going to be attaching mine permanently to the wall and so I won't be adding hooks to mine. I have my positions marked where I want my hooks and now I'm just going to drill them on. And now I'm just going to touch up the screw heads and any marks with a little dab of paint. You'll never see them. And there you have it. Don't they look amazing? I can't wait to get them in place. And that's it. Didn't it turn out wonderful? I absolutely love it and it looks great in this bathroom. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I always appreciate you. Please follow me on facebook.com slash Peacock Ridge Farm, on Instagram at Peacock Ridge, on Pinterest and YouTube. Blessings to you.